We have a guest, Elliot Wellenbach. Elliot's the Senior Vice President with Institutional ETF Strategy with Direction, and we're going to talk some markets. Elliot, welcome to TFNN. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, Tommy. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. Boy, so we spoke last week. Uh, we were talking about the interview. I was excited to have you on, and, and we got some fireworks today, man, as may have been the case. Um, I know we're going to talk you know, some treasuries. we got some action today. We'll talk a little bit of gold. But just on the first glimpse, what do you think about the Fed? Um, all you know, expectations are we keep it where we are, and that's what they do. We're at 55 to 5.5%. .5 but yeah, the market reacting a bit as we got record prices across the board right now. We have yields reacting, and I know we'll talk some gold. You have gold spiking with the dollar kind of cratering a bit. What do you think of this market action today, Elliot? Yeah, no, definitely an exciting day. Any day around uh, FOMC meeting, uh, you know, always going to be some uh, calm before the storm. Um, you know, nothing too unexpected that, you know, really saw coming out of, uh, you know, having uh, no change uh, to uh to current rates, um, and of course, uh, once you get Powell on uh, speaking, that's going to move the markets, um, which we did see, uh, you know, broadly uh, moving higher um, and setting rates uh, lower. Uh, but that being said, I mean, there's not too much new uh, that's come out from the rhetoric of that they still need to see greater confidence in uh, in cuts uh, before they have uh, cuts, uh, and inflation is still running uh, very hot. Um, and they need to see that tick down. And, you know, one thing they did mention, which they have before, is, um, you know, if they see a weakening or continue weakening labor market, um, that could, uh, you know, uh, instill a response from them. Uh, so, you know, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, you know, moving uh, markets here. Um, and, you know, we do have uh, ETFs uh, for traders, short term tactical trading, mostly in the leverage and inverse space. And um, we've seen a lot of traders going into uh, you know our uh, twenty plus year uh, twenty plus year bull treasury uh, ETF TMF, which is actually a contrarian view uh, compared to TMV, which is the inverse. Um, so we've seen a lot of uh, actually the largest inflows uh, out of all of our ETFs into uh, you know the the bull fund TMF on the twenty plus year treasury. And I'm, I'm glad you went there, man, because that was going to be my first question. Yields in focus. It's Fed Day. you got the chairman speaking. Um, they adjust some of their forecasts potentially on a longer term basis. So it's interesting when you talk about maybe 20 year plus, you know, the 30 year right now. Um, we got actually rising in yield. The two year, a little bit of a different case when you look at that yield curve and how it's reacting. But if you could go into because I know we have a ton of traders out there, you know, treasuries are in focus, of course. And for those traders out there looking to trade potentially some of the action in treasuries, maybe they don't have a futures account where they're trading, you know, some of these futures accounts that I'm pulling up. If you could go over, you listed them, but the TMF, I got it up here right now, you're down about five pennies. But for those traders, if you go over it again, those ones in particular, um, for traders looking for action, when you're looking at U.S. treasuries, kind of some of the options that you guys at Direction have available for those traders. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, like uh, we mentioned, uh, we specialize mainly in leverage and inverse ETF short term trading vehicles. So, you know, uh, as I already mentioned, TMF, that's a 20 plus year treasury bull fund. And we also have TMV, which is on the 20 plus year treasury. That's a bear fund, uh, both 3x ETF. So these are short term nice. trading vehicles. Um, nice. And if you're looking to short uh, trade the shorter, um, you know, end of the curve, uh, we do have the seven to ten year bull and bear 3x products, uh, TYD and TYO, um, which we've uh, seen a fair amount of action in, uh, you know, this year especially. Nice. And we got to jump to gold, man. I, I had mentioned that, boy, we got a lot of gold bugs in the trading room over here. And I was just jumping around even to Nugget before you came on the air. Look at that chart of Nugget, folks, up 9.4%. So we have the dollar pulling back. Quite a move on the dollar, man, even with, you know, you, a great summation. Not a huge surprise from the chairman or the Fed. We, you know, they still got three cuts in the picture right now this year. Some adjustments later. But, boy, the dollar just pulled back earlier today from 104.15 almost. We're at 103.46. You got gold spiking near record territory. And you got Nugget, man, up almost 10%. So for traders out there, you got gold right near highs 
the miners, man, sometimes they move just magnificently when you get that type of action in gold. For the traders out there looking for some action in gold in the miners, if you could go over some of the options, I know I just put one out there, um, but for traders putting, putting some money out there looking for some action in the miners, the products you guys have available there as well. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, uh, gold has been hovering around, you know, all time highs, kind of waiting for this uh, Fed decision. Uh, like you mentioned, we saw a nice pop um, after, uh, you know, the announcement and especially uh, with the Powell uh, rhetoric. Um, we've seen gold miners actually uh, move um, kind of lagging behind uh, gold. Of course, these gold mining uh, ETFs, they're invested in equities and not in spot gold. Um, but as you mentioned, we have our gold miners uh, uh, ETFs. They're two X. Uh, NUGT uh, is a bull fund. Uh, DUST Dust uh, is the bear fund. Uh, and then we have the junior gold miners that uh, you know those smaller um, cap companies tend to be uh, you know uh, historically a little bit more volatile than uh, you know the larger gold mining uh, stocks. Um, we have two X funds, uh, JNUG uh, is the bull fund, and JDST is the bear fund. Um, and we've seen the gold mining stocks um, and equities kind of rally, um, like I said, delayed rally behind uh, the spot price of gold. But we saw today, especially with gold and the gold mining stocks, a pretty strong rally, uh, you know, around 2 to 2.15. Um, and... You know, these are short-term trading tools. Um, you know, last uh, last week after the pretty strong rally over a couple weeks, um, we saw uh, some larger outflows in JNUG, which is uh, the 2X uh, yeah, Junior Gold Miners Fund. And that's really tr uh, short-term traders taking profit um, from the run-up uh, that happened over the past couple weeks. But we've seen a lot of activity, especially in the bull products uh, today, uh, JNUG and NUGT. Oh, man, it's it's pretty remarkable seeing these percentages. I was jumping through the charts as you were talking there. And folks, if you're out there listening, I mean, when gold hits these levels, you know, every gold miner, of course, is their own entity, their own business. But sometimes, and it's interesting, Elliot, especially the miners, right? You start approaching these lofty levels. And sometimes, man, these companies are pulling gold out of the ground. And every single time gold is going up 50 bucks, 100 bucks, it's just going right to the bottom line of some of these companies. So it's amazing when you get these types of runs, folks, in the gold contract that, yeah, you might see some huge accelerations. And, you know, we're seeing it today, Nugget, up almost 10%. Um, and looking at the juniors as well, they are rocking and rolling. Now, speaking of rocking and and rolling we got to talk about some of the magnificent seven i know you guys have a variety of etfs you got the single stock etfs of course and and those are on fire microsoft right now you're up about a percent i'm looking at up another four dollars approaching all-time highs that stock holding out so so well apple been struggling a little bit but they got some news with google this week and then of course nvidia the poster boy um but for those investors that are looking for you know whether it's individual ETF equities uh, and exposure to the Magnificent Seven as this run, you know, there's a lot of people out there talking about, you know, it's tough to call it the beginning of the run right now from where we've come. But boy, we are at the, the forefront of some pretty remarkable technology and the stocks are paying attention. If you could just talk about, you know, direction, the outstanding ETFs you guys have and how you've gotten into some of those around the Magnificent Seven as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it might be uh, currently the magnific uh, Magnificent Six right now with uh, Tesla's performance this year, but right. we'll go with the seven. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, but that being said, uh, yes, we do offer uh, leverage and inverse uh, single stock ETFs. Uh, so these are providing on the bull side 1.5 daily uh, exposure uh, to these uh, individual names. We have it across uh, Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Tesla. So we have six out of the seven, uh, with the exception of we're missing uh, Meta of uh, our suite. And then on the inverse side, we have uh, their single inverse, uh, more uh, used for intermediate, uh, short-term hedging, uh, concentrated position. But yeah, as you mentioned, um, you know, we're seeing Microsoft uh, trading to all-time highs. Um, you know, kind of uh, seeing it being perceived as, uh, you know, one of the AI leaders and a recent rotation out of NVIDIA. Um, we've seen a lot of action in our, uh, you know, our single stock bull, uh, Microsoft fund, um, MSFU is the ticker. Um, and we've seen some key, uh, key hiring uh, for in-house AI capabilities. Uh, actually, a couple announcements today coming out of Microsoft. Um, 
And with, te- uh, excuse me, Apple, um, you know, their AI efforts have really yet to materialize. But earlier this week, we saw a report of Apple licensing uh, Google's Gemini uh, AI to, to power the iPhone AI. So, you know, their AI for Apple is, is kind of uh, yet to materialize, but uh, they're making strides and efforts um, you know, to, to partner with some of the leaders like Google and Alphabet. Um, and we do have, again, single stocks uh, for both those products. Um, but one of the more exciting things, um, you know, in kind of the Magnificent Seven space is uh, the GTC Global AI Conference that NVIDIA has been hosting this week. Um, NVIDIA has been a very popular name uh, last year, uh, running into this year. Um, and we've seen a lot of action in our NVIDIA bull uh, single stock ETF, NVDU, um, you know, and really uh, some exciting stuff, uh, you know, coming out of the conference, um, you know, kind of looking at their goal to, you know, really become a turnkey full stack provider for proprietary AI, um, you know, factories um, where they're both, you know, in the hardware space, but also the software space as a provider and AI. Um, and, you know, outside of if the single stock space is not a place, um, you know, you're really looking for, we actually, uh, our newest fund, we've launched uh, launched a uh, concentrated Q's um, bull and bear ETF. The bull uh, ETF is 2x, the bear is uh, single inverse, and that's taking the uh, highest market cap weighted uh, companies within the NASDAQ 100. Uh, so as you can imagine right now, that's made up of all the magnif- magnificent seven names. Um, but we've uh, recently launched that. And it's a great way to, to trade short term if you're looking uh, to trade not the single stocks, but uh, you know, the concentrated you know, NASDAQ 100, which just happens to be uh, you know, the magnificent seven at the moment. Right. <laughs> and I was pulling those symbols up as you were talking about it. Those are QQQU and QQQD. And if you don't think Tesla has the legs, folks, they got the bear on Tesla as well. So you don't got to do all the, all sides of it. Uh, Elliot, I appreciate the time, man, coming on the program. Great discussion on a busy day. And we look forward to having you back on TFNN. Your- Thank you for having me. Looking forward to it. Always a pleasure. Folks, check it out. Don't forget, you can always find out about, about Direction products. Click on the Direction banner on the front page of TFNN.com, and we'll be right back.